right outside Zion National Park and getting ready to set out on a four to five week trek to Green River, Utah. Day two. Day five. Day eight. Day 11. Day 14. Day 17. Day 20. Day 23. Morning of day 26. So I just edged my way across that right there. of day 27. After jumping in the river last night, I got to my cache, reloaded, and I feel like I am reset. I feel so rejuvenated, ready for action. So now I'm going up the lower end of Spring Canyon, and it's pretty amazing. I love it. I'm ready for some easy canyon hiking for a while, a break from the rough stuff. But then later today, we're going to Leave the trail once again and go cross country. That won't be easy, but uh, feels good. I have food in my belly again, plenty of water. Life is good. All right, let's keep hiking. A lot of the domes in Capitol Reef are primarily Navajo sandstone, you can see here, but many have a little top layer, a little top notch. I think that's Entrada sandstone. That's what kind of gives it a capital building look. Because remember, it is capital with an O, not capital with an A. So we're talking about a capital building. So you see it here and in the Golden Throne, many of the other domes here in Capitol Reef. I've seen a lot of this flower this year. It's beautiful. I like it. The bees tend to like it as well. Okay, still heading up the canyon. This is the year of the bighorn. I just scared a whole herd of bighorn sheep down the canyon. Probably five or six of them. Wow, they're climbing so fast. So yesterday I reported that the day before was a terrible day for hiking and my lowest mileage of the trip. Well, I've set a new low bar because <laughs> yesterday was even slower. I only hiked 11.5 miles yesterday, which is just extremely low for me. It's one of the lowest days I think I've ever had on any of my hikes. You know, and I attribute that to really tough terrain um, and also just no energy. I think because I had no food, I had just zero energy. And I was, I was taking a break every 10 or 15 minutes. When the sun was out, it was just like zapped me. And it's funny, I wasn't hungry. Like, I, I didn't really have hunger pains. But yeah, zero energy. And also, it was a cash day. So at the end of the day, I spent a good hour or so dealing with my cash. So, uh, so yeah, slow days. But hopefully, I'll get back to average today and going forward. Otherwise, I'm never going to make it to Green River. All right, that's thought for now.
So that last outbreak of water we saw will be the only water we'll see for a while, probably. So I filled up kind of one and a half gallons of water in my pack now. My pack is heavy. <laughs> Gotta have the water though. Okay, looks like we're entering a little uh, slot canyon here. Check it out. Bit of a boulder fest here. Rifle. Hopefully, there's a bypass. Must be. But... Yeah, what do you know? Looks like I could get up there and maybe back around this corner. Okay, let's figure it out. Okay, walking back down the canyon through the narrows. I think uh, we must have missed the bypass. The, uh, that climb was doable back there. It's just that I've had my fill of climbing for now. And you know, this is a marked trail for Capitol Reef, so I don't know, I think that climb's a little too hard for the average hiker. We'll see, there seems to be a bench here on the north side. It looks like it would make for a good bypass. So we're gonna go back and see if we can find it. It's right back here. Ah, oh, look at that. Nice little route markers. Cairns leading up to this bench. Here we go, this will be easier. Okay, we are past the slot. Easy peasy by using the bypass. Now it's time to get on up the canyon. All right, for my next leg of my hike, I'm gonna go cross country again. A little bit crazy, I'm gonna try a route that I know nothing about. I'm not sure if anyone's ever done it. I'm sure someone has, but I just don't have any information about it. But based on my research, it looks feasible. Uh, and this is the route I was gonna take up behind you based on my intel of satellite imagery and topo maps. It looks tough, but it looks doable. Um, very chunky, very bouldery but I think it could be done. However, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm actually gonna continue on up canyon to a spring because even though I've been carrying a gallon and a half of water and it's been really heavy, I'm afraid it's not enough. For one, I sprung a leak, so one of my containers is already half gone. And two, I've drunk some of the water. And three, I'd like to drink a lot more because I am really thirsty already. So I'm thinking I'm going to go up to that water source and then based on some notes I have from uh, guidebook author Kelsey, he notes a few open-ended canyons up in that area, which means you should be able to get out and access the plateau. So I'm hoping that's the case. The only problem is being able to climb out for Kelsey is not the same as a normal Jamal because he can climb like a bighorn sheep and I cannot. So anyway... That's the plan. I'm gonna keep carrying all this water up to the spring. The ranger said the spring was running kind of dry, so I'm gonna keep the water just in case and then scout for a route out up there. If needed, I could come back this way or go to complete plan B, which is to go way around. 
So anyway, those are the options. That's the report for now. Hey, Mr. Ground Squirrel. What you doing? You eating that grass? Is that good? Hey, why don't you talk to me? Hey, what's happening? All right, I gotta go. Say hi to your mother. All right, I made it to the spring and it's running fine. So plenty of water. I carried that whole gallon and a half for basically no reason today, but you know, this was not the original plan. So I'm happy with the amount of water and something I rarely do. I already have camp set up by 6.30. I decided to stop here, though it's way short of where I wanted to be, just to filter more water to let the solar panel charge for a while. And most importantly, let's check out these routes. Both routes are up this rock-filled gully. And the sneak peek did not look overly promising, but uh, stuff always looks harder from far away. So that's why I'm gonna go out now and take a closer look and see exactly what I'm in store for and then hit it bright and early tomorrow morning. Well, I've climbed halfway up this boulder-filled gully. Quite the boulder fest. Doesn't that look encouraging? Option A was a no-go, and now staring down the top of option B. Doesn't look good either. This is option B up here, and I just can't see. I can't see well enough, but it does not look promising. Oh, I mean, there could be a way hidden in there, but it's just so hard to tell. I don't have time to get all the way up there, which is unfortunate. It kind of looked like a storm is moving in and it's going to get dark before too long. So I think I have to abandon this idea. It sucks I even carried a gallon of water up here just to perch at the top in case it did work. But it's just going to take too much work to get up there and find out. So now I have to decide if I want to go back to the original plan or go upstream, go up canyon and look for something else. But in my research, nothing else looked good. <sighs> or the long way around. All right, I don't know. I'm gonna head back to camp and think about it as I eat my dinner. Okay, back to camp before it got dark. So, first time ever, at least in a long time, I don't know where I'm going tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to look at some maps and see if I can figure out a plan. All right, that's it. Checking out for day 27.